Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Scarlett Rose. For those that are new uh, visiting my channel, welcome. For those that have been joining me every week, thank you so much. I appreciate you for helping me grow my channel. Well, today I'm going to be introducing a special new playlist. And this is uh, sprucing up your home or your outside of your home for the holidays. And today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to decorate uh, your pumpkins to make it more festive for the fall and holiday season. Um, today I'm going to be spray pumpkin, spraying the pumpkins with some uh, gold metallic spray paint. And this was purchased at the Home Depot. Um, this gives your pumpkins a little extra uh, uh, decorative style. So let's go ahead and get into this uh, spray painting. We're gonna do um, a few uh, pumpkins um, today and let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do, and also you can brand these too. You can get little templates and put your a letter of your family's initial on here. And um, you can really do some decorative things. So look at this, you guys. I'm gonna be using these pumpkins to do my front porch. And that's gonna be done in the next video. So you all have to stay tuned and look how I incorporate these pumpkins in my next video. now. Say hi, Carmelo. So you just spray paint these. You could even do the stem because it looks so pretty. And we're going to do this other one. Let me show you. And I lay down this cardboard, by the way, because it helps it to keep clean. And I picked up these pumpkins from my home uh, neighborhood fruit store over the weekend, and they had a festive uh, pumpkin sale. So I just couldn't help myself, y'all. So you may want to make sure, usually one coat is good, but sometimes you have to go over some other spots. We're gonna take, oh, this is a heavy one. We're gonna take this one. And we're gonna spray paint this. And like I said, you can brand these and make get your own little family initial letter. Ours would be A. But you can personalize it. And this is so fun, you guys. It really is. When you see the finish, product. I maybe should have put on some gloves, but if you're really careful, this project turns out nicely. See, 
two here. This little one here has some spots that we didn't get to. And we just want to make sure it's sprayed carefully. bought 10 pumpkins you guys but I am not doing 10 so we're gonna start off with one two three four pumpkins I may do a fifth one why not and again just make sure you have a cardboard box or something so you're not damaging anything and you can put on some gloves as well and I'm spray painting the tips and this is a fun project an easy fun project y'all so let's see here hmm we may do one more big one what do you guys think isn't this pretty so let's go ahead and do this one. And this will be our last pumpkin. And like I said, this really spruces up your yard, your front porch. And I'm gonna show you how I use these pumpkins again in my next video. And I will also show you a link in my description box on what type of metallic gold paint I use to spray paint these, um, these pumpkins. And that I, this also helps keep the squirrels from eating my pumpkins as well when they're colored um, with a festive color. Um, you also, I read, you can put um, W40 uh, oil and spray paint your pumpkins that you're not going to color to keep the squirrels off of eating them. There's other home remedies you can also use. And it's so pretty here in the fall here in Ohio. The weather is changing as we speak. It's a cool day, so these are going to dry quickly. What do you all think? Maybe I have to do maybe this bottom here. See a few. Areas that need to be touched up to make sure they look beautiful. color your pumpkin. If you all haven't gotten out there and voted, please go out and vote. 
exercise your right to vote. It's very important. You can't complain if you don't go out there and vote. Please do that. Vote locally and nationally. It makes a difference. Alright y'all, this concludes my metallic gold pumpkins. Festa for my front porch for fall. So you all have a blessed day. Don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button. Please come back and join me for some other uh, quick tips and fashion and cooking and just things I enjoy doing on this channel. Again, this is a cooking and lifestyle channel. Please check out my other delicious recipes and some other things that I'll be introducing in, on my channel. You all have a blessed one. Bye.